started right now. Sophie's Shell by Joe Rooks. This is Sophie. Sophie loved learning about the world and was always pondering big questions like, why is the sky blue? Why are raindrops wet? Where does the sun go at the end of the day? And what are stars made of? Sophie couldn't wait to start school where she could find out the answers to all her questions. And finally, that day arrived. Sophie was so excited. But when she reached the school gates, she felt a wobbly feeling in her tummy. Come, meet the class, said Miss Flutterby. But Sophie felt shy, too shy to say hello, when suddenly, Oh dear, thought Sophie. In art class, Sophie painted a big picture. That's beautiful, said Beatrice. Sophie felt shy too shy to reply when oh not again thought sophie at lunchtime sophie had all her favorite things what have you got asked layla sophie felt shy too shy to talk to layla then Why do I feel so shy? Sophie asked herself from inside her shell. Then a voice replied, Sometimes I feel shy too. Sophie wasn't sure where the voice was coming from, so she peeped out. Want to hear a joke? said Stanley. Stanley told Sophie so many jokes that their shells shook with giggles. After lunch, it was time for show and tell. William showed the class the gold coin he had found. Lucy told everyone about her special award. And Stanley wanted to tell a joke. Everyone waited. But Stanley didn't say anything. Oh no, had Stanley forgotten his own joke? Then, poor Stanley. Somehow, Sophie felt brave. She knew exactly what to do. She took a deep breath and slowly slid to the front. Sometimes I feel shy too, she said to the class. But having a friend like Stanley is the best remedy ever. Want to hear a joke? said Stanley with a big smile. What did the big flower Say to the little flower, asked Stanley. We don't know, chanted the class. What did the big flower say to the little flower? What's up, bud? They replied together. Everyone loved the joke and thought they made a great double act. After that, Sophie liked making new friends but she knew that her shell was always there. Just in case she ever needed it.